So a fifth one. <laughs> Colonel Sanders can suck my So on today's episode, we're going to be making some really, really good chicken wings. Perfect for getting a few people around whether you're going to be watching something on TV or like a football game or UFC or whatever like that. And we're going to be making Jim Beam Sriracha chicken wings. Now, everything on the screen is going to be explaining what's going in. There's no exact measurements to this. It's a little bit of a guessing game and personal preference. But everything that I have used, I'll put down into the description so that you've got an idea of what you need to buy. Personally, I thought these were incredible, if I do say so myself. It's not a recipe that I've found anywhere, it's just something that I've just created over time that I've tried to do a couple of different ways, and I thought this was one of the best ways to do it. So you basically just need to get all your little things mixed in together, slap some eggs into a bowl, and that's basically just going to be a sticking agent so that your spices and stuff stick to the actual wings itself. So just smash a few eggs in, probably about three eggs just to serve a decent amount of wings depending on how many people you've got around. I think there's fed three people I think. And then you want to be getting your fat nice and hot, I just use olive oil, you want it quite deep so quite an excessive amount. And then essentially it's just a thing of dip it in some eggs so that it gets it all sort of sticky around the wings and then just whack it into the batter that you've made. You can double dip if you want to, it's personal preference, but I'm not doing it at this stage. And then basically after that, it's just about whacking it right into that hot, hot oil and just, you'll see when it starts to cook because it'll start to brown off and you'll know what you need to do. Once one side's done, you'll, work, you'll, you'll, you'll know as, as you do it and then you just need to flip it over and make sure it's definitely cooked on the other side. Salt to the chef when you fuck with the rest of the show, I like to show you now. Yeah, Oh wow. It smells. Mmm. Yeah. -hmm. So good. So good. <laughs> I just thought if we're doing wings. You should do your call slot. Yeah. Carrots help you see at night. That's fucking good. That's good. Right. <laughs> really good. <laughs> really good. The sriracha and the um, Jim Bean almost like complements each other. The, the sriracha is not hot. It's got, it brings us like a sweetness to it. And the Jim Bean, you can just taste that slight element of alcohol, like the whiskey, the dark. It's just nice, man. And then the, the coleslaw all together. That is fire. Then with that, 
a lot of mates, a lot of beers, nice red wine, whatever. Jim Beam whiskey, just pour it everywhere. Great meal. Oh, 